everybody. So we've got some news to talk about today with regards to the Seattle Kraken. They have a head coach. After a long search, they have decided to hire Dave Haxtell as the first head coach in franchise history. And he will be the guy behind the bench as the Kraken take the ice for the first time next season. So this is definitely an interesting move for Seattle. This was not a guy that were, was on many people's radar as far as getting this job. And it's definitely taken the hockey world a bit by surprise. Before we get in fully to the video, I want to just remind everyone to please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It helps out the channel so much and is greatly appreciated. But let's take a look here at Dave Haxtell, who is now the head coach of the Seattle Kraken. So Hackstoll was a very, very successful NCAA college coach at the University of North Dakota before making the jump to the NHL. At the University of North Dakota, he went 239, 143, and 43, and in 11 seasons went to the Frozen Four, which is the final four of college hockey, seven out of those 11 seasons. So he was obviously a very, very successful coach in the college ranks. Ranks very good at a big time college hockey school at the University of North Dakota and really put together a great career. After you know, leaving North Dakota, he finally made the jump to the NHL where he was hired by the Philadelphia Flyers in 2015. And he coached the Philadelphia Flyers for three and a half seasons, going 134, 101, and 42. He made the playoffs two out of the three seasons, full seasons that he coached in Philadelphia, but the t Flyers lost in the first round both years that he made it. Um, in the midst of his fourth season, which was 2018-19, he was fired after about 30 games because Philadelphia was under 500 and falling well out of playoff contention. So Hackstall gets fired in the 2018-19 or uh, yeah the 2018-19 season, and then he uh, was hired by the Toronto Maple Leafs in the summer of 2019 to be an assistant coach with the Leafs, and he that's where he spent the last two seasons, 1920 and this year 2021, he was an assistant for the Maple Leafs. So Hackstall is getting another shot at a head coaching job in the NHL. Um, obviously he had a very kind of up and down tenure with the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, they made the playoffs his first season there, that, that, but they lost in the first round Then they missed the second season. Then he got them back to the playoffs in his third season as their coach. Um, but again, once again, they lost in the first round and then he was having an abysmal year in 2018, 19, and they ended up firing him. He's gone down to be an assistant, spent a couple years as an assistant coach, and now he's getting another chance as a head guy with the Seattle Kraken. So this was this is an interesting move, and this was not a guy that was on a lot of people's radar as far as this hire was concerned. Um, I don't think there were many people picking Dave Haxtell to be the new head coach or the first head coach of the Seattle Kraken. Um and it's definitely an interesting move that's kind of caught people off guard because Hackstall, again, it was it was a he had some success in Philadelphia, but he wasn't overly wasn't like he was beloved by the Flyers. Even when they were making the playoffs, he wasn't overly beloved by Philadelphia fans. Um, I he he wasn't a guy I think that was on a lot of people's short list to get another head coaching job this quickly. Um, but obviously, he's gotten more experience now as an assistant with the with the Maple Leafs the last couple of seasons, and you know he's probably grown and developed and, and is a little you know a bit better and different of a coach than he was during his first stint as an NHL head coach. And I'm just I'm interested to see how this works out um, because this was kind of an off the radar kind of move that was kind of came out of nowhere. I think that there's definitely a chance that, you know, maybe he gets back into a head coaching job and is more experienced now and does a really good job with it. Or there's a chance that this goes pretty poorly for the Kraken and maybe he doesn't work out at all. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how it happens. What I do think, though, is that this 
means that Seattle is probably going to go in a younger direction. Hackstall, obviously a ton of experience in the college ranks, has a lot of experience working with young players and, you know, guys, you know, ages, you know, 18 to 22 in college. You know, he's going to be, you know, working likely with a younger team in Seattle. I think that if you're the Kraken, you bring in a guy like this because you're planning on going in a younger direction. Now, obviously, um, we we haven't had the expansion draft yet. We don't know what Seattle's roster is going to look like. But I feel like this hire is a sign that Ron Francis and management over in Seattle want to go in a young direction. Maybe, you know, not start out the way Vegas did as a full on contender right out of the gate, but maybe start out with a young team and try and develop some young talent and grow the team from there. Um, I just that comes to mind to me when I see a guy like Hackstall get this job ahead of, you know, some more experienced and, and um, more longer tenured NHL coaches. Um, I think that Seattle's plan here is probably going to start with a very young team and try and grow from that point on. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Like I said, um, you know, we don't know how this is going to work out until it does. And um, it's definitely an interesting hire, though, as Hackstall was unexpected, to say the least, as, as a guy to get this job. So, uh, that that pretty much does it. Uh, Seattle has their head coach. It's kind of uh, an interesting choice with Dave Hackstall, but he gets a second crack as at being an NHL head coach after spending the last couple years with the Toronto Maple Leafs as an assistant. And that's going to bring us to the end. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store, donation link, and memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.